Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer. This is the Gondor campaign and uh, today we're actually fighting against Mordor. We are launching the attack for once. Um, I am attacking Giendur Dawn Death. And the aim of this battle to, is to basically remove the 3,000 or nearly 3,100 orcs from the Osgiliath territory so that we can then take our army northwards or eastwards, sorry, technically, uh, towards Minas Ithil and retake that. We've got two spies in there, so we've got over a 50% chance of the gates being unlocked when we make the siege. Um, let me just do that for a moment. I'll see if I can... I might be able to... Ah, no, I don't have enough. I've used up my agent limit. Okay, I just wanted to see if I had the ability to um, put a third spy in there. So in this turn, fight them, maybe head in this direction towards these guys, and then that would give me the turn to get a spy, another spy and put them in Minas Tirith. As you, as you can see, we've got uh, Halion and Borthor. So uh, they currently give me a 51% chance that they will manage to open the gates if I attack the settlement. And there is a general in there as well with an orc host. And they'll get, obviously, orc defenders as well. Um, but we won't have to wait to build any siege equipment or anything like that. We could just, we could just attack straight away. But it's, a 50, it's basically 50-50 chance that it'll work. Um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Even if we have to wait one turn building some siege equipment, the spies will still be effective. So if they don't, if it doesn't give us the chance this turn, so perhaps next turn, even when we have siege equipment, there'll be a little icon on the on the battle panel that pops up um, with the picture of the gates open. So the spies would have actually got the gates open after we've got the siege equipment. So we won't. We can just drop the siege equipment and just charge straight through the gates. <coughs> Excuse me. So. That is the plan. Get rid of Giandur. Head over to Minas Ithil. I am a little bit concerned about Captain Lunlil. Lunlul? Oh, I don't know. He's got a substantial force, and I don't really have too much in the area at the moment. Can I recruit anything here? Not really. Okay. Uh... Amrothian Barracks. Should I bother getting that this turn or should I maybe get that next turn? One more turn until that mine's done. That's good. Four turns there. One turn there. Right, let's. Where is it? There it is. Let's stop the production of that for the moment. So that I can... Oh, hello, General's Bodyguard. So that I can actually get some defenders here. In Minas Tirith. Well, I'm not going to need these defenders in... Was Giliath here because I'm going to be taking care of that army. So let's move these guys. In fact, I'll move all of these guys, except for one of them, into there. Just builds up the defense there. We're going to have two units there. Lovely. Okay, right. Let's attack this army now. We're good. Saying, look at those clansmen there. With their uh, shoulder guards and everything. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Level silver level armor as well. You guys do look slightly different, maybe. You've got bronze level armor, and these guys definitely look different. They've got chainmail on there. That's cool. Any others? No, nope, that's it. Okay. 
Right, so this is going to be quite, this is quite a large Mordor army. Um... I don't know if they're going to come and attack me because they have over 3,000 troops. So I wonder if they'll consider that to be an advantage and they might march towards me. It's happened to me before. So I'm going to deploy stakes in case the enemy general comes charging forwards. Um, we've got three militia here and these two spearmen. Oh, three spearmen. In fact, we're going to put our heavy spearmen into this as well. Got a nice long line of spears now. There we go. Nice big shield wall. So we have our militia behind them. Okay, but these swordsmen. On this flank here. There you go. And I've got my heavy units here, which I'm going to put on this flank. Uh, 13 defense, 19 defense. Okay, let's put the group of 19 up front first. There we go. Cavalry. So I'll be trying to utilize them as much as possible. Let's see what they do. The lines become a bit staggered there, but oh well. Now, are they just reforming or are they actually going to come towards me here? Looks like they're just going to reform. Wait, so that's a general there. No, that's the general there. So, wait, is there two generals in this? Did I miss something? Apparently, oh, I think I missed the fact that there are two generals in this. Oh, well, I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, I didn't actually look at the enemy army, did I? So, yeah, there's probably two, there's two generals in this one. Huh. Okay, well, they are not moving forwards at all. So, let's push forward to here. I'm going to rush into this. This army obviously is going to be needed to attack Minas Ithil and obviously to hold it afterwards as well. So,
I'm just gonna put my general on this flank in case that enemy cavalry comes over here. Heavy unit to help out. Let's move our cavalry off to the flank a bit. <clears throat> Much as in range of anything yet? Apparently. But then my Black Root Veil archers aren't. Now you are, apparently. Let's open fire. The power bar's in my favour, thankfully. It's just the enemy have the advantage of numbers. We're under which will soon be rectified. Why are you firing? You apparently say you can fire, but you're not Attack. firing. In fact, actually, you could aim for the Moran and Guard. That'd be good. Ah, here we go. Fall back to the main line. Be careful with my cavalry. Keep them over here near the border. Oh. Shoot these archers. going. Inset these archers in my cavalry. Nothing major, just, just a quick charge. Why are they forming up in a line over there? What does that even do for them? Oh, they are, they are actually aiming for my cavalry. Ha! Huh. Oh, they took out one of my cavalrymen. How dare they? Ah, now they're going to attack us. Once again. Thankfully, my uh, Lebanon spearmen are covering my archer's retreat. Oh, God, I lost a lot of uh, Ethereum rangers there. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Right. Let's get a charge in there. Attack. 
General's charge. Hopefully we can free my two cavalrymen there at the back. They're trying to get away. Uh, we freed one of them. Well, no. One of them died. The other one's almost free. He's getting a few more kills in before he gets out. Nice. Get back up on top of this hill. Incoming enemy general. <laughs> Brace for impact. <laughs> much in our favor victory will be ours thankfully the enemy archers sort of merged in with some of their units at the back here so we can take some of them out at the same time let's see are they going to go for my general or my cavalry Cavalry, so we can attack with our general. How unfortunate for you for turning your back. We need to find a way of getting rid of the generals. Let's move our swordsmen around to attack from all sides. Move our general in as well. Have some heavy units might help. We've got some orc hosts moving in over there. Oh, hello. If I take my cavalry around my stakes down there, we'll go around my army, I think. There goes the enemy cavalry over there. General's coming in for a charge. To the back of my swordsman there. Let's see if I can move out of the way at all. Not really. We can bring in our own cab. Well, the battle is all happening on this side.
Okay. Oh, hello. Some orc band came behind us. Let's go cavalry to group up on this cavalry unit here. Guys distracted. Only half the enemy force remains. Let us prepare for this war. Enemy general down to five. a different flank. <laughs> it's all on 13% for 58. These guys are having some fun up top against the spears. These guys are doing really well against the Moran and Guard. And some Orc Band as well. Let's get our general up this end. Some swordsmen. The enemy are trying to come through this gap here, or they are coming through this gap here. Let's intercept them. Broken. See the enemy general coming across that hill top at the side there, so. Yes. Held the center. Oh, my clansman did not like that fight at all. So say, where's the other general? He's up there. him he's surrounded now that group that general of two surround up top here militia move across and surround down on the bottom part of the hill here all of these guys converging on this enemy general right there. Let's 
just the general in this unit over here. Oh, now he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> okay, cavalry. Let's go and run down some routing troops. We want to make sure this army gets completely destroyed, if possible. These guys are now starting to take a few casualties, but they are smashing their way through the back of this cavalry. Swordsmen emerging from the spear wall. Nice. The enemy general's got a long way. Everyone surge forward against the general. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he's being attacked from the rear by my cavalry and he's about to get swarmed <laughs> by my infantry. Look at that. That is quite a sight. He's beyond there, so let's get my cavalry out here this way. Run down those guys. It's just the general left now. My line held. Took a few casualties though. 21%. Ugh, it's a bit more than I was hoping, but... Uh, if it clears the way to Minas Ithil again for us, it's... Uh, not the end of the world, I guess. If we kill the general by shooting him, that'll be a bit of a anticlimactic result. Any more units to run down? Uh, not within achievable distance. Might be able to get that one there. The enemy general still going. Yeah, we're pushing him towards the stakes. <laughs> yes. Kill him on the stakes. This is I don't victory. think he died on the stakes. He almost did, though. He almost pushed him into the stake. That would be awesome if that happened. All right. 476 lost. We still have over 2,000 men. So that's um, it's actually not too bad. Whew. Okay. I don't know what that picture is supposed to be de de uh, depicting. 
I'm going to guess it's an elven city's fall. It's got the sort of style of an elven city, the types of towers there. I'm going to guess it's kind of elvish. So I wonder what city that is supposed to be representing. Two enemy generals down. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well done, spies. 907. All right, let's make a save on there. And let's do this one. Oh, we are not starting around this corner. You can forget about that. <laughs> Units, march. Units, march. Men of Gondor, you must go now. Must go now. Soldier battalion, I'm ready. I had you over there a second ago. Oh, I'll leave you there then. Okay. So everything's up here then. Excellent. Our spy has opened the gates. Let's be done with this wretched siege. Archers. So we gained back quite a few of our Athelian Rangers, thankfully. Not so much our Lambdan Clansmen, though, that got charged by the enemy cavalry. So that's a bit disappointing. Okay, so the enemy are retreating into there. Wait, they got something on the wall? Oh, they have. That's that lot. So just going to put those into a group just so they're out of the selection screen now. We'll march everything else towards the gate. Don't need them to rush. Cavalry can stay at the back. We don't really need to use the cavalry at the moment. But the initial, the <coughs> excuse me, this initial force I'm sending in should be enough to hold back the enemy forces. Get the spears into a shield wall formation. My Lebanon guardsmen. I think the I called them something else last time. Now. Hopefully, I didn't call them anything incorrectly there. But yeah, get my Lebanon guardsmen to go into shield wall formation. As well, why not? Actually, we'll bring this archer down here so that we can shoot at the enemy. We're going to try and get them to come inside, uh, come and attack us. 
from the gate. Men, <laughs> they've been in guardsmen throwing their javels. That was a good throw. What I liked about when we last attacked this place is that they came out one at a time and then retreated one at a time as well. So we didn't fight them all at the same time at one point. I think they... I think we had fought the majority of them by, by that point, but it was still quite fun to watch. Yeah, use up your ammo. I don't mind. Got them down to 52. Here comes the Orc host, maybe, to reinforce. They holding position? Yes, they are. Keep an arrow ready. Have an arrow ready. Move out. Attack. Okay, shoot these remaining guys. The White City will provide. Have faith in the Silver Tree. Attack! Move! 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 Here comes the rest of the army. I was going to say, is there anything blocking the gate now? But here comes the rest of their defenders. I did wonder why suddenly loads of my units were surging forwards. It's because the rangers were charging through. Well, they were at least trying to surge through. Comes the bodyguard. Have an arrow ready.
Bodyguard is not doing very well. <laughs> I wonder if I can sneak past them. Some heavy units. Just sneak past the enemy units here, go through the gate and just block off. Whoops. Just block this off, maybe. So send my heavy axemen around there as well, which means if I bring my swordsman this way, we can block off the general here. Coming. <coughs> Just get all my guys through here. Oh no, never mind. They've caught they've caught on to what I was doing. A bit late now unfortunately for them because I have some units across threatening the general's reinforcements two guys just got axed there on the edge there that was quite cool look at that we got the general surrounded and what's left of the orc coast I forget sometimes that when you move the camera when you're in far, when you've got it fast forwarded um, and then you move it goes back to times one so when I moved I then tried to slow down the camera uh, slow down the footage forgetting that it was already back to normal that's why it pauses sometimes Defenders aren't going to last too long, I don't think. See if we can get my general to run through here now. I think we should be able to. Guys just got flung up there. <laughs> and the spearman surge. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Shoot that Uruk defender unit at the back. So we've lost 6% in this fight. Of 
Unfortunately for these guys, they had their backs turned, so... Probably took a few unnecessary unnecessary casualties in that volley. Uh, what's going on over here? General's down to just him and one other person somewhere. Oh, no. There we go. Ah, the general's there. Cool, he's in the gateway. I'm guessing that was the enemy general. <laughs> over here out the way. You've done enough. My other archers can now run through into here unchallenged, unopposed. Sixty-three spearmen. Oh dear. So well, let's get you guys out of there as well. Place you with the uh, this clansman unit. Four at the back there. Oh, never mind. We've actually surged forward. Bit of a mess. Sound like a machine gun going off. Come on, men. Our men are in command of the castle. Troops left. Uh, two, one. <laughs> I 
Oh, nice. This is a clear victory. One of them got to got him to block his block his attack with a shield, while the other one moved in for the kill hit. 199 men lost. We're down to just under 2,000 men. Killed another enemy general. So one of my Lebanon guardsmen received 92 casualties. Zero were bought, uh, were recovered. It's a little bit disappointing, but never mind. All right. Minas Ithil is back under our control. And I think it's only been two turns? Two episodes? Including this one? I didn't mean two turns. I meant two, ep two, epi eh, two episodes. I can't talk. I'm trying to talk quickly and I can't. I can't master that skill. Hopefully they haven't made any uh, alterations to Minas Ithil. They are gone from these lands. Our realm is expanded. They have not. Enables the training of Minas Ithil guardians. Whoa. 70% culture requirement. <gasps> Ooh, I want that. I want them. We're at 31%. No. I want the guardsmen, please. Okay. So, spies. My lord. Uh, I think I put them into this settlement on this turn. So, that's why they can't have a little look inside Kirith Ungol. There we go, guys. We have retaken lost ground very quickly. Surprisingly quickly. So, um, right. I'm going to have to end the episode there, unfortunately. Next episode, then, we'll see what this Mordor army does. See if it retaliates in any way. See if it doubles back, maybe tries and comes back to its territory to reinforce. Or if it's just going to go out and attack. Or if it's just going to attack me outright in one of these areas. Um, I should get... Garrison, Garrison guys, I think. Somewhere, hopefully. But, uh. We'll find out soon enough. So, thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one.